is something that should make every Windows 11 user's blood run cold. Microsoft's latest security update is literally killing solid-state drives across the globe. And one of the industry's biggest controller manufacturers just broke their silence about it. Just 24 hours ago, we brought you the shocking news about how Windows 11's 24H2 Defender security update, the one rolled out during August 2025's Patch Tuesday cycle, was turning expensive SSDs into digital paperweights. But here's where it gets controversial. This wasn't just a minor glitch affecting a handful of users. We're talking about a systematic failure pattern that's reproducible, predictable, and potentially devastating for anyone storing critical data. The update package in question, labeled KB5063878, was designed to protect systems against the notorious Lummer Stealer malware and similar cyber threats. Sounds noble, right? Except Microsoft's cure turned out to be worse than the disease. The security patch is essentially having heated arguments with SSD controller firmware. And when these two pieces of software can't agree on how to handle operations, your storage drive pays the ultimate price. Let me break this down for those who aren't tech savvy. Think of your SSD controller as a traffic cop directing data flow, while Windows acts as the city planner deciding traffic rules. When Microsoft changed the rules without properly coordinating with the traffic cops, chaos ensued. The result? Digital traffic jams that permanently damage the intersection, your SSD. Community investigators have uncovered a disturbing pattern that's both fascinating and terrifying. When affected SSDs attempt to handle sustained sequential writes of approximately 50 gigabytes, that's roughly equivalent to copying a dozen high-definition movies. They simply vanish from the system. Worse yet, their smart telemetry data, which typically provides health information about the drive, becomes completely unreadable. It's like your SSD develops digital amnesia and forgets how to communicate entirely. But here's the part most people miss. The failure isn't random. Under controller loads of 60% or higher, the majority of these drives are failing consistently. This suggests we're dealing with a fundamental incompatibility between Microsoft's updated security protocols and the way certain SSD controllers manage intensive operations. Now, here's where things get interesting and potentially controversial. Fison, one of the major players in the SSD controller manufacturing world, has decided to speak up publicly about this mess. Unlike other manufacturers who might prefer to handle such issues quietly behind closed doors, Fison went directly to Tom's Hardware with a statement that's both reassuring and slightly concerning. According to Fison's official response, they've recently become aware of what they're calling industry-wide effects caused by both KB5063878 and another update, KB5062660 on Windows 11 systems. They're acknowledging that multiple storage devices have been impacted, including those powered by their own controllers. The company states they understand the disruption this has caused and have immediately engaged with industry stakeholders to address the situation. What's particularly noteworthy, and this is where opinions might diverge, is Fison's emphasis on their steadfast commitment to product integrity. Some might argue this sounds like corporate speak designed to deflect responsibility. After all, if your controllers are failing due to a Windows update, isn't that partly a firmware design issue? Others might appreciate their transparency and proactive approach to communication. Fison has confirmed they're actively reviewing the affected controllers and collaborating with partners to develop solutions. They've promised to continue providing updates and advisories to partners who may have been impacted, ensuring proper support and remediation measures are implemented. But this raises some uncomfortable questions that the tech community needs to address. How did a security update designed to protect users end up destroying their hardware.
Why wasn't this incompatibility caught during Microsoft's testing phases? And most importantly, who's ultimately responsible when a software update bricks expensive hardware? The OS manufacturer or the hardware maker? The broader implications here are staggering. We're looking at a scenario where protecting your system from malware might cost you hundreds of dollars in replacement storage drives. It's a perfect storm of good intentions meeting poor execution. With consumers caught in the crossfire. What's your take on this situation? Do you think Microsoft should be liable for hardware damage caused by their updates? Or is this primarily a controller firmware issue that manufacturers like Fizon should have anticipated? Have you experienced any SSD issues since installing the latest Windows 11 updates? The comments section is yours. Let's hear where you stand on this digital disaster that's affecting users worldwide.